But I figured I'd just show you guys how to set it up, what some of the differences were. And I'm also going to go back here. Something else that's neat is that it's a lot better with sector creation. So those of you who have problems with sectors that act weird or just don't come out quite right won't have as many problems now. As, as an example, doing this would normally screw up things big time in Doom Builder. Let's say uh, I do this, I go over here. I go like this, but then I'm going to do a, a crazy move and intersect. Then I'm going to go over here, then up here, then over here, then right here, and then I'm going to come back and connect. Normally that would be a big old mess in Doom Builder. The sectors would just be insanely screwed up. But if you go into sector mode in this, Doom Builder 2 actually creates separate sectors regardless of whether they interconnect inter uh, or anything. So now if I go into the visual mode, those sectors actually exist separate from one another. Now if you try to do this in Doom Builder, you, things would be majorly messed up, but here there are no errors. It just created a bunch of separate sectors, as weird as it looks. So that being said, uh, go ahead down download Doom Builder 2 right now. You won't go back to Doom Builder 1 after using it, I promise you that. It's easier to use, has more features, and you're going to be a better mapper when you use it. I can almost guarantee that. It'll make things a lot easier for you in the long run. So I hope this helps some of you. I know I haven't covered everything, but this is the basics to get you started. And you can use my other tutorials in the time being, and nothing much else has changed in, in that department. So thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, comment on the video.